Welcome to Robin Hood Shaving Artisans. Hi guys, uh, first of all, before I even begin, I want to throw a thanks out to my buddies over there at uh, Pep Boys. I just had my, picked up my car and I did some work on my tires. So uh, they watch me frequently over there and I just want to say hi. So, all right, let's move on here. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Razor Rock Slock, that's S-L-O-C Razor. This is a, uh, I've used this before. It's open comb. It looks vicious, doesn't it? If you look at the front of that, wow. Okay, it's a three-piece razor. And uh, I feel very adventurous today. That's where I'm going to use it. And in this razor, I'm going to use a Gillette, a brand new silver blue stainless steel Gillette razor blade. And uh, let's see, it's on both sides. You'll see that just like that. There you go. So we're going to put this in the razor right now. If I don't drop it. And then we'll put the plate on the top. You can't see that, just like that. And we'll screw it down. If I don't cut myself, let me grab the ends here. It has a little bit of an overhang, and that's why I like overhangs on uh, certain razors because you can grab the razor blade without cutting yourself. And I'm going to check it. And if you take a check of that, the alignment looks good. So now I'm going to tighten her down a little bit. Like I said, there's a little bit of an overhang there. And you just have to be careful. It's no big deal. Okay, we'll set that off to the side. Uh, something else is, what's that look like? Okay. And then how about that? There must be a similar, something to do with the shape of it. My coffee maker. <laughs> and then also the shape of this. This is a Yaki brush, a 24 mil synthetic. And I have a kind of a cute story. I ordered one of these and I didn't come in. It didn't come in. So finally I wrote the manufacturer in China. Where is it? Oh, it was lost. A plane, airplane went down and the whole shipment was lost. He said, I'll, I'll send you another one. So they sent me two more of these. And he, as an apology, he sent me another razor head, which I got to uh, demonstrate to you one of these days. And so and then I had two of them. Then lo and behold, about a month later, I get another one in the mail. This one was a uh, badger brush. With the same the same type they were both uh, i think they're all they're all 24 mils so i kind of lucked out the soap i'm going to use let's move right along here is the cad the uh l octane cad soap and it comes in a box that looks like that uh this is this was given to me probably a good oh it could be 20 years ago and i never used it and then about a year ago i opened it up and i said gee I didn't even know what it was for because I wasn't wet shaving at that time. And uh, so I opened it up and it smelled really good. And I wrote the manufacturer, how long is this stuff good for? And he said, it's good for about one, maybe two years at the most. And this is like probably 20 years old. But it's, you know what? It was still good. And so I'm not going to worry about it. I did take a little bit and put it in my uh, lather bowl. And I, I'm going to soak my brush here for a couple minutes and warm some warm water. Let's see, we got most of the stuff out of the way. All right, what I'm going to do, yeah, it's nice and warm. I'm going to wash my face, then we'll uh, mix up this lather with that new brush and see how that razor rock uh, razor goes. All right, let's, let's begin. Beautiful day. It's Sunday, no, Saturday today. I'm going to go down to the local beach here in Waukegan, Illinois. And I was going to do a shave on the beach, but it's kind of windy, kind of cool. Maybe next week. We'll see. All right. I'm not going to use a uh, pre-shave. I'm just going to go right in to make the lather. Let's get most of the water out of this because I can always add water. And let's see how this just whips up. This is beautiful soap, by the way. Ah, oh, smells so good. Look at that. Oh, boy, is that nice. All right. It's been about, oh, three days since I've had a shave. I did uh, cut my hair last night. 
and uh, I went a little bit too low on the sideburns, so if I look kind of bald there on the sideburns in front of the ear, that's why. I don't have any strange diseases. Okay. All right, this is really nice. Look at that. Put this on. I was just watching the news and they're talking about uh, SpaceX is going to send a couple astronauts astronauts up to the space station. It's the first time in about 10 years. But I don't, I didn't catch the date that they're going to do it, so I have to look it up on the internet. I don't know if any of you guys are interested in uh, space stuff or not. I am. Sure, this goes on so nice and it just lathers up beautifully, this soap. It's not an inexpensive soap. I think it's like, I don't know, $25, $30. I guess it's okay. But if it lasts like, this is 20 years old, it's got to be pretty, some pretty good soap. Let's see how it shaves. Okay. Let's uh, wet my razor down. See how we do here. I get it in my finger and feel it. Oh, it's nice. This is going to be nice. Smooth. Not too aggressive at all. I feel it's really nice. I like uh, to use open comb razors when I have a little bit of a growth. It's like two, I would say it's like three to four days or longer. I wouldn't want to shave with it every day. And I only shave right now about three times a week maybe. These uh, Razor Rock razors are really nice, and they're, you know, I'll tell you something, they're really, the money that you have to spend for them, you get your money's worth. Got to be aware of the overhang of the uh, razor blade. All right, so far so good. Pass number two coming up. There we go. Boy, there's still a lot of lather. Look at the lather in there, just more than enough. Brush is really nice. The Yaki brushes, I really like them. 
Sometimes you get uh, synthetic brushes. I don't know, I have one here at the moment. Uh, but sometimes that the crown is like sunken in. It's, it's, it's not made very well. I did have one. I think they're uh, D DS Cosmetics. I, seems like it happens more on their brushes. And I did write to them about it. And they said they, uh, they didn't want to replace it. But they said they'll give me 5% big deal off of the next razor or so or the next uh, brush. The next time, though, I'm just going to write them, tell them I don't want it, replace it, get me a good one. Their quality control needs to step up a notch. All right. Task number two, we're going to go sideways on this. I could put a little more soap on. Shaving cream, that is. But I didn't. We'll be all right here. Pretty good. All right, number three pass coming up. That soap still smells really nice. Uh, the soap I'm washing my face with is root. Looks like this green. I've gone over this before with you. Really inexpensive and it's just so slippery. Alright, let's go for the final pass here. You can tell I move my clock on top of the uh, toilet over here so you're not getting that tick 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 I don't think unless it can pick it up that far away I have a real small microphone attached to my GoPro and it helps a lot but it's really sensitive for the size of it all right good enough Now we're going to do up, go against the grain. Oh my god, look how white that is. I got to get a, some sun on my face. It's really a nice razor. And with that Gillette Blue Blade, it's really smooth. Okay, one more swipe around the base of the neck and we'll be done. All right, here we go. This razor is, uh, is not aggressive. It looks worse than it is. I 
I shaved with a fat tip piccolo razor the other day and I'm gonna do a five minute uh, or a seven minute short video on that razor on my take two series and point some of the things I don't like about that razor all right the things you have to be really careful of I think this razor is like, I believe it's under $30, which is really amazing. For the quality of this razor, it's really a heavy razor. I think I'll do a take two on this razor too. All right, let's get some cold water here. Wipe everything down. Oh, is that nice? Woo. Okay. Uh, we're going to use some witch hazel, of course. I'm going to use the cu cucumber right there. Cucumber. I haven't used this for a while. I've been using a lemon a lot. And it smells like cucumbers, too. Okay. Use this... Uh, Give that a minute to soak in. Pat it. Then uh, after shave, I'm going to use a Taylor of Old Bond Street sandalwood after shave lotion. This is really nice, really, really nice. Oh, that's what this whole thing is about. This so uh, double-edged razor shaving. Look at that. The wrinkles are almost gone, guys. <laughs> Not quite. All right, and then the final uh, thing I'm going to use is a Cremo uh, Skin Clearing Post Shave Balm. Now, I don't have any idea what they mean by skin clearing. Read that? I have no clue, but I've used this before. It's unscented, and I like to, when I use a nice uh, aftershave like this, or some of the other ones I use that really smell nice. I don't like to have a balm that's too flowery or t has too much scent to, in it because it takes away from the aftershave balm. All right, so let's uh, put this on. You don't need much. Just about that much. This will help put the moisture back on your skin. Oh, wow, that is nice. Put it on my arms, I don't wanna waste it. Still a little dry outside. All right, there you have it. Let's go back to front. I usually do that, don't I? Back to front. That way, uh, this witch hazel. Mix it up a little bit here. Cucumber, love it. The cream oil, post shape balm, unscented. Really nice stuff, I use it a lot when I use my uh, shape cream. Then I used uh, sandalwood by Taylor of Old Bond Street. I have a tendency when I hold things up, I, I put it up like this. See that? And I put it down. By the time you're looking, where does it go? So I got to slow myself down and hold it up there a little bit until you fall asleep. All right. Uh, the razor was the Razor Rocks S-L-O-C. It's a slant. It's not a slant bar. It's just an open comb. Open comb razor, really nice three-piece razor. The uh, blade I used was a Gillette Silver Blue, not the blue blade, but this. Oh boy, I'm aging myself. I said blue blade before. This is actually the Silver Blue. The uh, probably the star of the show was a CAD by El Octane. It's a French, I believe it's made in France. It's a shaving cream, very nice. If it lasts 20 years, I'm sure that one year you guys are going to really like it. 
It's a brush I use with a Yaki brush, 24 mil. It looks like the coffee maker. <laughs> so there you have it. I'm going to put a couple uh, links up there, uh, probably on some more of these razors and uh, some of the other uh, razor rocks that I've shaved with. And um, most likely, I think I've got a couple of videos with the L-Octane too. I'll put them up in the corners. You guys take a look at them. I'll hand pick them for you. And uh, thanks for stopping in. We'll see you in the next shave. See you and uh, bye to Pep Boys again. <laughs> thanks a lot for watching. Bye.